Bye bye, orphanage. <laughs> Slowly. Almost there. Stop! Uh, uh. <sighs> Where is Felice? Uh, sir, I don't know. What are you looking at, you idiot? Well, <laughs> go get Felice. You know, I'm having a little bit of trouble knowing which direction. No! You're... <laughs> Face. I'm not. I'm just a little bit hurt that you are, ugh, I don't know, escaping without me? Escaping? Me? No. I was just looking at the spectacular view. <sighs> because, you know, you wouldn't last more than five minutes out there without me. <laughs> <clears throat> don't start. You know how this ends. We arrived at the same time and we'll escape at the same time. I promise. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, Victor. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, here we go. Sorry. We're sorry and let them go. You go to your room. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Superior. Enough. Go to your room. And may I just say that you are looking very Enough. superior today. Enough! Okay. Felicity, I know you have this dream of being a dancer. We all know it. But I all the world has a dream. But get this into your head. Dreams are not reality. Dreams are buried because life is hard, brutal, and without pity. But... Da, 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 da. Agreed? Agreed. A dance school in Paris, little lady. The Opera de Paris. Full of dancers and dance. Where did you find this? I have my sources. Okay, enough. Can I see it again? No. Please. No, but if you escape with me tonight, you have my word. I will take you to this dance school and you will become the greatest dancer and I will become the greatest inventor ever. Do you have a plan? A brilliant plan. A plan worthy of my total other unquestionable genius. Let me see. After now. the escape. No. Now. I said now. after. After. Now. After. Ah! Ow. Dance school in Paris. Okay, sister. 
that I do not know. I call them chicken wings. Chickens don't fly. <laughs> but they have wings. They must fly. You fly, don't you? Outside the orphanage, you should take a teeny tiny, eensy weensy, little bit more care of it. Fixed! Don't thank me. And tomorrow, Sherry, Paris will be ours. Sunshine? Ew. 
When's the last time you brushed your teeth? Start with this one. <gasps> Find it together. Ugh. Do you think it was stupid to come to Paris? Don't say that. We, we should never give up on our dreams. We're kids. We're all alone. Was I really crazy to think I could be a dancer? What do you think? Victor? I said... Victor? I'm okay! Come back! I can't swim! Meet me on this bridge at this time tomorrow. No matter how dangerous it is, I will return! Victor! Come back! Don't leave! Please. Get off me! Oh, yeah! Leave her alone. 
I'm here to steal! I didn't. I, I, re I really didn't. Think this through. If you hurt her, then you will have to explain how she got here in the first place. And aren't you supposed to be taking care of the building? Do you really want to take the fall for this? <sighs> Clear up. Wait! Go, get out of here. for saving me. You've said it. Have a nice life. <coughs> Excuse me, but who was that dancer on stage? Rosita Marie, top dancer at the opera. Wow. And what she did? That crazy jumpy thing. What was that? Are you a dancer too? I am a cleaner, and you are an irritation. Go away. Ugh. But you're the first person to show me any kindness in this city. I've been separated from my best friend. I have nowhere to go. And I'm an orphan. Nice try. But I hate kids. Especially orphans. Go find another idiot. Stairs are a disgrace. I have guests tomorrow afternoon, and I want my building looking worthy. Top to bottom. I understand, ma'am. If you understand, why are you entering your rooms? <sighs> Let me help you. Get out of here. You need me. I can clean. In fact, Squeaky Clean is my middle name. I'm young, my legs work, yours don't. Uh, it's gonna feel so much easier with me helping. <sighs> Are you coming? Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of stairs. Are you the caretaker? Yes. And you can stay with me until you get on your feet. On one condition. No more questions. How long can I stay? Ugh, that was a question. By the way, who was that witch? Regine Leo. She owns this building. And she eats ginger orphans with ponytails. Now clean. <laughs> huh? How long have you worked here? What's your name? Do you have a nickname? What do you Do I have my own bed? Do you kind of soup? Do you snore? Are you a morning person? What's your favorite fruit? What do you have for breakfast? I love baguette and jam. You know I escaped from the orphanage to become a pupil at the opera? Did you? You work there, so you must know people. Could you help me? Don't hold your breath. What that Etoile did yesterday, it was so magical. Oh, I love dancing. Do you love dancing? Is that because you've got a limp? Get up. Yes, ma'am. Who is this? No one. She helps. You feed it. Out of your wages. Yes, ma'am. I want you to air and press the linen. Now. Hmm. It's not clean. <laughs> Oh, 
supposed to knock. Who are you? Ooh. <laughs> I'm Felice. I work with Odette. I clean. Da -da -da -da. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. Bye now. Wait, little rat. You were spying, weren't you? I don't think so. Yes, you were. You were admiring the most wonderful dancer you've ever seen. Isn't that so, little rat? <laughs> You're not the most wonderful dancer. Yesterday I saw... Don't be insolent! Are you a ballet dancer? I will be. Mother and I are waiting for the letter that admits you to the opera. I am so talented. Plus, the director dines in my mom's restaurant, and he loves the prime rib. So, this time next year, I shall be a famous ballerina. Ballerina? Me too. <laughs> Reality check, little rat. You're nothing. I'm a star. You were just orbiting around me. What's that? Have you stolen something from me? No. Show me. Uh, what is it? It's mine. And it's precious. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure. Fetch. No! Regine Le Haut and Mademoiselle Camille from the opera. Hmm, handmade paper. Embossed. Blue ink. <gasps> oh, how rude. Children today have no manners. Says she's Camillo. <clears throat> Are you Camillo? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> she is Camillo. <laughs> Return to your post, my friend. All right, please, yes, sir. Welcome, Miss Lowe. Charmed. Charmed. I am Auguste Emmanuel von Corbet, director of the opera. You are here because your mother serves the best prime rib in Paris. Oh, I hope you dance as well. Of course. When I look in my life, wanna see myself shine on the dance floor. But I won't get it right till I stop asking why and just let it go. Sometimes I take a look at my life, take a look at my life and say, oh, oh. Wanna get it, yeah, gotta get it, don't need a pot of gold Looking for the rainbow to break the storm inside me uh, uh, uh. You're not a dancer, are you? Yes, I am. Who would have thought? Return to your class. Okay. Oh, greatest ballet master of all time, oh, most talented choreographer in the universe and beyond. He is handsome, he is elegant, he is strong, he is powerful, he is the man. You want something from me? How did you know? Yes, I have enrolled Camilo in your class. <sighs> Thank you. Looking for the rainbow. I'm 
Felici. Felici. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm, I'm, f f f friendly ever. So is crazy. Man who performed the most fuetes ever in a single solo. Who what? Turns. Really difficult turns. 187 in total. And right after, he vomited! Silence, mademoiselle. First position. Second. What? Third. Uh, fourth. And rest in fifth. Huh? Uh, uh. Today is an important day. I've gathered all the coiffes together to audition for the part of Clara in The Nutcracker which will debut on Christmas Eve and star Rosita Maury. Rosita? Rosita Maury? I don't believe it. <clears throat> so... Except... Ribbon Paris. What bet? You know, the one about who gets their dream first. I am going to be an inventor. Really? You're just jealous that in 24 hours I've got a job with the man who is building that. Did you bump your head when you fell in the boat? Nope. Yesterday, after you got separated, I just took a quiet walk around the streets of Paris. It was all good, totally good. I was really not scared at all. I met some charming locals who helped me find my way, and you will never believe this, but then I stumbled on a Breton bar, and I got a big, warm, and friendly welcome. They welcomed me like a brother, a son, a nephew, and then I met this super guy called Mazzaron. We talked, we laughed, we danced together, and then my new best buddy and I decided to head home to his place. And you are never ever going to believe this, but he works in the atelier of Gustave Eiffel, the nicest, best, and most magnetic inventor in the whole world. I am going to be the most Famous engineer's right-hand man. Oh, and I've come back to square one with my chicken wings. I am now working on combining air velocity with fibers catchment systems. I'm trying a kite. Wow. I made progress, too. Really? I'm a dancer. Yes. Yes, a, a student at the opera. And soon I'm going to be an étoile at the Opera de Paris. <laughs> you? A dancer at the opera? Okay. And may I know how you came to be at the opera? By the door, I saw some lights and... Liar. Okay, it's Camille the O. The one who broke my music box. Liar! Uh, she wanted to apologize. Liar! Let me finish. Liar! So she gave me liar. the letter that allowed her liar. into the opera. Liar, liar, liar. When you're lying, you're no shivers. You're exhausting! <sighs> I stole her identity. What? You stole it? Are you insane? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Victor! Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Victor! Victor! Whoa. Whoa. Victor! Whoa. Come Whoa. back! Don't leave! I'll be back! Oh, you're gonna be somebody You'll be bigger than Mars Be my walk on you now But the walk on your star You're gonna You're gonna be somebody You'll be bigger than Mars You'll be somebody You'll be somebody And to finish, the splits <laughs> Now, rise The class is over, and the person who's leaving us today is you. You have the energy of a bullet, but the likeness of a depressed elephant. Pack your trunk. <clears throat> Rise, please, mademoiselle. But I like it here. Rise now. Mm, I'm stuck! Get her out of here. Didn't you say one person per class? Very well, until the next audition. Then it really will be. Bye-bye. Merlot hates me. Oh, don't say that. That's just his way. No, she's right. He hates you. If he could, he'd smash your kneecaps with his cane. Oh, I have no chance. There's always a chance. Not always. This might be one of those times there's no chance at all. But I really want to stay here. Then you have 12 hours to work really hard. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Push uh -huh. yourself and uh -huh. then work some more. Yeah. <gasps> 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 hey. 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 Who is that? Rudy, from the Top Boys class. Holder of the best cheekbones at the Opera Award. Hey. I love him. He's so blonde and shiny. Are new, yes? Yes. Uh, she's Camille. She has two eyes. <laughs> you have spirit, Camille, but you're dancing. Sucks. Oh, oh, Who does he think he is? Until oh, we meet again, oh. Minushka. Only in your dreams. Felici? <gasps> what are you doing here? I can explain. There is nothing to explain. Wait, wait. Sorry. Triple sorry. There's a bigger word for sorry, I'd say it. I let you into my life and you lied to me. I don't like lies. I could lose my job because of you. I get it. I messed up. But you don't understand. Since I can remember, I've wanted to dance. And when I saw Rosita Mori and she did those amazing moves, I knew that's what I wanted to be. I knew my dream could come true. I know it's hard to understand. You hate dancing. But I just want you to know I'm truly sorry.
Any mail? There is no mail. As soon as there is, fetch it. Can you dance? Yes. At least I think I can. Training starts at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Are you a teacher? Do you have another option? 5 a.m.? and ring the bell. Why? Just do it. You don't want me to dance? No talking. Jump and ring the bell. Ah. Again. You said we were going to train. This is it. Again. <laughs> Felicity, you lack precision and finesse. You have little or no sense of rhythm. You're without balance, grace, and charm. Come on, you can't tell all that from one jump, can you? You can. On the good side, you have the energy of a bullet. But you also have the lightness of a depressed elephant. Hey! Kumarant used exactly the same phrase. After ten years of cleaning, you pick stuff up. Okay, now jump up, ring this bell, land, and do not splash the water. But that's impossible. I thought it was your dream to dance. <sighs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. Wrapped in a disaster with a side order of bad. Ta ta. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Hold on, don't let go. You. Me. Last time we met, I was so very rude. Izvini, let me introduce myself. I am Rudolf Dimitriev Stanislav Artyom Rankovsky III. The sir. Big choice of names there. <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone finds it hard at first. But you and I are unique. And we do not follow silly rules, yes? <laughs> How is that pickup line working out for you? It is no line. I say it only to you, Camille. Just to you.
Uh, are you alright, Camille? Yep. I'm okay. There's this boy, Rudolph, who it turns out is a real Russian prince with a castle and peacocks and cheekbones. And he took me on the roof of the opera and he was looking at me like this. Then like this. And then once like this. Wait, a, a boy? What, what type of boy? Peacocks? What, what type of cheekbones? And Rudolph? He's a friend. He says I'm going to be everything I want to be. I say that too. But he's deep as well. Deep? <laughs> yeah, well, I have these. Ta-da! Woohoo! Doors. Yes, the doors to the atelier of my new boss, engineer, genius. If you saw what was behind these doors, I would have to kill you. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to kill me then. <laughs> Ooh la la. What's that? The Statue of Puberty. Soon to go to America. But it is a super secret, so you did not see it, okay? Okay. So, here's my office, the home of big ideas and genius. For example, here we see the plans for Chicken Wings version 3. <laughs> oh! um, at the moment, my boss and I are working on several uh, important <laughs> inventions. He, uh, he, uh, he calls me his ideas man. <clears throat> Do you know how to use all this stuff? Uh, not yet. But... I, I, I have a chair. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, Victor. He's the cleaner. <laughs> He's two sandwiches short of a picnic. Oh. So the pencils all need sharpening, and the boss wants us to polish his boots for tomorrow. <laughs> so your big boss calls you his ideas man, huh? Well, uh... He has the ideas, and I think they're great, but... It's a start. Hey, Victor, you were right for once. Dreams can come true. First position, second, third, fourth, fifth. These five positions form the basis of everything. First position, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now you jump. First position, second, third, fourth, fifth. And pose, and smile. It's when you're tired that you start to progress. You were a dancer, weren't you? No more questions. Again. Oh, to reach, you might need to stand on your points. Feel the balance. So, your toes must be as flexible as willow. And hard as rock. <clears throat> First position! Uh, uh, uh. No hands allowed. What? Oh, try oh, this way. Stop, stop! Oh, you were a dancer, weren't you? Of course I was a dancer, Sherlock Holmes. Oh. To pirouette, you must become the mistress of your dizziness. Stare at a spot. And don't ever lose it. Okay, now come to me and don't spill the water. Introduce your left foot to your right foot. See if they can get along one day. There's a bright future for you as a candle seller. <laughs> First position, second, third, fourth, and rest in fifth. Thank you, Mamzelle. Ready to do that.
that crazy jumpy thing. And I'm the Empress Josephine. I am. Of course you are, but there's a difference between being ready and being ready to do it well. That's why we train every day. And that's what we've been doing. And then you'll be ready when you can answer the question, why do you dance? I've answered it. It's my dream. That crazy jumpy thing is called Le Grand Jeté. And you're not ready. Are you doing dance or kung fu? <laughs> you are so funny. This is Victor. We escaped from the orphanage together. Hello. I am loving your apron. Ugh. It seems that you are going out tonight. Yep. Bring her back late and you will be six inches smaller. Of course, of course, of course. It's a quiet, sober, quiet, sober thing. <laughs> what music? Whoa! Tomorrow, you act with a little more dignity. Anyway, tonight was a good performance. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I have no idea why you're happy, but it is great! better go in. I've got my audition tomorrow. Of course. Sleep well, and I... I... What? I think you're... Uh, I think you're great. <laughs> Thanks. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> no, I'm stretching. Yeah, gotta... Ooh, gotta get that one. Okay, yeah, it's best I leave. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Hey, Victor. Uh-huh. I had the best time. Thanks. Good night, Felice. Oh, sorry. Mademoiselle Camille O. <laughs> <laughs> in prison she stole my life my honor and my name i want it back <laughs> too much okay what is your name my name is felice lebrun i come from an orphanage in Brittany. i didn't mean to hurt camille i just wanted to be at the opera and I'm sorry. Madame. You traitor. You knew this. You stabbed 
me in the back, you are sacked. Silence! All right. Like it or lump it, here is my deal. Miss Le O, you may enter the Corifé class starting tomorrow. And you will also be in the auditions for the part in the Nutcracker. But I want to be clear. If you sack Madame Odette, I will sack Camille. You! You made a terrible start to the classes. And you have lied and cheated to be here. But you have also shown great promise. And you've worked hard and shown your dedication. You must have a good teacher. So you may also stay in the auditions. If you get the part in the Nutcracker fair and square, you may become a Corifé too. If you fail to get the part, then you must leave the opera. Is that clear? Yes. Is that also clear to you, madame? Clear. Then, Félicie Lebrun from Brittany, your future at the opera is in your hands. What if she's good, Mother? Get that part! Do you hear me? I want vengeance. I will have it. <laughs> she even makes sweeping look graceful. She was a good dancer, wasn't she? Not just a good dancer, the best of her generation. And then there was a fire on stage. Oh, what's this for? For everything. We don't have time for this. We're talking about your future now. You have only one opponent, Camille. I've seen her. I know her. Her technique is perfect, and she is stronger than she looks. She is precise, she is sharp, and losing is not a word in her vocabulary. Up, down, up, down, up, down, again, up, down, up. I'm tired. Tired is for losers. Again, I am going to get that part. If you try to take her down on her turf, you will fail. Your diet suffers from eating very little food. Your muscles are like marshmallows. In short, on paper, you're going to get humiliated. Ah! Uh, great pep talk. So how do I get that part? You get the part because you have something she can only dream of. Passion. your anger and your pain and your sorrow and your joy and put it all into your dance. Live the music. Feel it. Every note, every sound, every harmony needs to have your body vibrating from the end of your hair to the tips of your toes. And then, and only then, will you take her down. All right, the person leaving us today is... <clears throat> this is the end of the road, Miss Nora. What road? Oh, I'm finished. I like you. Beat her. <sighs> Camille and Felicie. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., we will know which one of you will have the honor of dancing Clara in the Nutcracker with Rosita. I can only advise you to give everything, ladies. You've made lots of progress, dirty little rat. But tomorrow, I am going to be the chosen one. We'll see. You can work as hard as you like. You can train 24 hours a day. But you will always be nothing. I am somebody. Who exactly? Answer me. Who are you? Ugh, you're nothing. Nothing. She's wrong, you know. You're not alone. What? Hey! 
you have me. And I know exactly what we are going to do. Tonight, to prove our connection, we will embark on a little romantic party. I offer you the Eiffel Tower. I offer you fireworks. Tonight, 7 p.m. Rudy has class. Rudy again? What, is he your boyfriend now? No. He and I, we're connected. Okay, okay. You win. I will give you class and connectivity. This dinner. You and me. Some knives and forks, napkins. Uh, 7 p.m. North leg of the Eiffel Tower. Is that a yes? Yeah. That's a yes. Sit. I've got something for you. They were mine? Look at the bird. He flies in the sky. No one can trap him. Pew pew. Pew. Pew pew pew. Coco. 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 Do you like? That's. Uh, well. Original. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Minushka. Let us go to the very top, to the stars. Okay, Maddie. We practice. Music, please. Classical. Okay, but that's not my musical comfort zone. Oh, stop! Stop, 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 stop. We'll go Breton, but soft and romantic. This will blow her away. She arrives, she giggles. I am looking dark and mysterious. I give her the music box. She's oh, oh, overwhelmed. Uh, I don't know much about girls. Frankly, they are a mystery to me. But I do know that this one's not coming. Young innocent fool, of course she will come! I can already smell her perfume. Oh, no! Oh, beggars! Oh, Paris is infested with beggars! Yuck! But, Don't be afraid. But... Quiet! Follow me. Have no fear. I have developed a fighting technique based on Cossack dancing. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, stop right there. He's my friend. Oh, is this some kind of joke? No, this is Victor. We grew up together. Oh my, this is funny. Friends, huh? If we're friends, why are you looking so ashamed? I'm not looking ashamed. Oh, yes, you are. I feel sorry for you, Felici. Oh, you're jealous. No. Ever since you started at the opera, who are you trying to be? Mixing with this...
big hairy asparagus? You're so sad. Whoa, 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 Spacoin. I could knock you out with one flick of my tiny finger. But that would make my finger dirty and smelly. So I'm dirty. But at least I don't spend my day in tights! Who? Who? I can't I... believe this! She is my muse! Yeah? Well, she's my... whatever you just said, too? With knobs on, asparagus! Stop! You're both idiots! Okay. Well, goodbye, then. Well, goodbye. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so low. Audition. Mademoiselle. The orphan is late. It's over. <clears throat> well, as Felici did not deign to show up for the audition, it is Camille who will dance wait, with Rosie. Wait! Wait! Wait, I'm here! Please, please let me dance. It's over. Don't you understand? Sit down. I, I apologize. Did you sleep? Not much. Did you train yesterday? No. Why? All right, music. <laughs> Start again. She fell. She's eliminated. Start again. <laughs> you remember our deal. Camille, you will have the honor of dancing Clara in the Nutcracker. Did you think it would end here, little rat? No! Let me go! No! Oh, no. Please!
good. She's lost her spirit. Pull yourself together, you big fool. I know. I miss him too. Hey, I'm talking to you. We got things to do. We got plans to make. And I want to take you with me. Yeah, I want to take you with me. Let's go. stupid and you caught me so big sorry to you and i'll just go back to the dorm this way quick huh Squeaky Clean is my middle name. In fact, I need you. I want to stay with you. I'm so sorry, I really missed you. Me too. Morant has given me a room in the attic. There's a little corner for you. Work starts at 6 a.m., one hour for lunch. 6 a.m.?
I promise he is not here. Do you know when he's coming back? Please. Well, I... Oh! Nope, I don't know that. So... Will you please tell him that I'm sorry? I've been unkind and foolish and silly and stupid. And rude. And rude. Tell Victor that he's my best friend. Ever. Ooh, uh, uh, that's my other hand. I have three hands, actually. Wasn't him. He is not here. Victor has worked a miracle. Who would have thought? He just has the look of a total nitwit. He doesn't want to speak to me ever again. He will. No, 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 no! Here we go. Stop! As cold as lard. Miss Lao, you performed tonight, and so far we have no emotion. But I'm doing exactly the steps you told me. It's not enough to do the steps. Find some anger, or some pain, or some love, but find something. She lacks this. Tonight we'll make that clear. Okay, I'm going to do the stairs in the lobby. You can finish here. Okay. Leave it. Give it back. <laughs> Silly me. I didn't throw it hard enough the first <sighs> time. <sighs> Don't make the same mistake. Why are you leaving? Scared of being humiliated? Looks like you need more training. You are nowhere near ready. I'm going to show you what a real dancer looks like. Are you sure about that? Quiet! Tonight these seats will be full. Paris will be looking at me, adoring me. Or not. I already told you, you are nothing. You will always be nothing. Only one way to find out. Right here, right now.
ask you both an important question. Why do you dance? I dance because... I dance because... because... my mother makes me. Because it's always been a part of my life. It was there with my mom when I was a baby. And it's here now thanks to Odette. It allows me to live. To be myself. She should dance. That was very honest, Miss Lo, and brave. You have a future at the opera, if you wish it. Felici, tonight, you dance the Nutcracker. Great job. I call them pigeon wings. Wow, great. But I'm not sure I want to test them. Live dangerously, Maddie. I promise you they will almost certainly work. Oh, this is nice. Maddie, can you give us some privacy? When? Maddie, privacy! Oh, now. O okay. dancing tonight at the opera. I want you to be there. Really? Really. I like you, Felici. You make me laugh and, and cry at the same time. <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> you cannot help him. <gasps> First, you deceive my daughter. Then, you take her identity. Now, you try and take our honor and our future? Do you think you can turn my daughter against me? And get away with it! No one cheats me! Mother! Scare her! Stop! The last time she was this late, it did not end well. There's a big scary lady chasing your girl up the statue, trying to kill her. What? And also, I wet myself. Uh, Come on, quickly, save her! Maddie, the pigeon wings! Victim of a terrible accident on the night of your debut. You will have something to share with Odette. Both of you used to be dancers. Let go! Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh.
version three, it might be a good idea to work on some breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just say that I've invented something and it worked? I can. Then say it. Victor Francois Xavier the First, you're a great inventor. Thank you. You're ready. Then dance from right here. You won the bet. You made your dream come true. Sitting in the sun 
Waiting for the passing trains Wishing you were here Wishing we could ride